Good evening. I'm Barry Carbon, and I live at Regency at Monroe. And obviously, I don't have any children in school. But I'm a product of public schools, and I try to take an interest in it. I appreciate Dr. Chanley's presentation, and I appreciate her vision, which all may be terrific. I'm not an educator, so I can't judge it. But I can judge the financial impact and the managerial impact on increasing the superintendent's salary and executing this contract at this time. The tax burden on the public is, seems to be ready to be increased significantly. The school district has found and said that it cannot exist with the existing tax level and it cannot exist without a significant increase over the statutory limit. As such, it leaves an impression with both the public and with the educational staff that things are not too good. Things could happen, layoffs could happen. The school being open at night could stop, the clubs could be reduced depending upon the result of this coming election. There's a bond issue that's going to have to resurface. We know we don't have sufficient room for the amount of students that are coming into the district. And because of the peculiarities of how zoning is done in New Jersey, many students are coming in in housing that is designed for families at this time. So the level is going to increase in the number of students to be housed and educated. And it is important that the board present an image of austerity in their spending at this time and to justify the fact that it cannot live within its budget. There are people who have left this town retired people, and gone off to Florida where the tax burden is less. I don't think you want to create a situation where Monroe becomes unhospitable to seniors that are not using school services but are paying school taxes. God knows what would happen if every household in Monroe had a couple of children in the schools. Be thankful for us old people. We educated our kids somewhere else. <laughs> so I would ask that you consider all these things in approving this contract at this time. Nothing reflects on Dr. Chanley. This is not an issue of her personality or her performance or her vision. This is an issue of credibility for the school board. <laughs> you must give the image of managing the funds well to the population, and you have not demonstrated that. So I would appreciate that you would consider that in your decision. Thank you, and thank you, Dr. Chanley, for your presentation. It was terrific. And nothing about this has anything to do with you as an individual. Thank you again. Yeah.